find the solid for find the volume of the solid when the below given shaded region is rotated about the line <coughs> x is equal to 2 so this is the line x is equal to 2 and this region we want to rotate it over this line x is equal to 2 and we want to find the volume of that solid now when you're rotating over this line you can't integrate because you have to integrate with respect to x or y so let's think about what happens when you're rotating over the line x is equal to 2 okay well i can say well instead of rotating over this line what happens if i rotate it over this line this line is y is equal to 2 so instead of rotating over x is equal to 2 can you think what happens if it's rotated over this line y is equal to 2 as this rotation over x is equal to 2 is symmetrical to the rotation of uh, this shaded region over y is equal to 2 that means the solid that you get by rotating about the line x is equal to 2 would be equal to the volume of the same shaded region rotated over y equal to 2. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to translate this graph, which is y is equal to 1 over x, 2 down. So we are taking each point 2 down. So that's what I've done. So this the equation of this graph is y is equal to half of x minus 2. So x 1 over x minus 2. That means this graph, which is y is equal to 1 over x, has come 2 down. So let me explain this point. So this point is 0, 2. So this is 2 up the y-axis. So this point has come here. It has become 0, 0. This point is half 2. So this, has got, this is coordinate of half 2. This half 2 becomes half 0. So this this point has come here. Okay, so each of the point is coming two down. So this is one comma one will become one comma negative one. One comma negative one. This point, which is two comma half. So this is half up. So it has to go two down. So that means this point is two comma negative one point five. Negative one point. I'll explain why we are doing this and ultimately this point is on the x-axis so this point will become 2 comma negative 2 okay so now we are saying first we are saying rotating over the line x is equal to 2 this area is same as rotating over the line y is equal to 2 and then we have translated this whole graph y is equal to 1 over x 2 down and then we say, well, that is same as rotating over the x-axis. That is same as rotating over the x-axis. So the same region. So this is this is this. I'm not uh, shading this. Of course, let me shade it with this color. So this region has become now this region. Okay. So this region is the same as this region now we are rotating over the line over the x-axis over x-axis so this is oops use a smaller eraser so i want this as two okay so now we are rotating you'll get the same volume as rotating over x is equal to two by rotating this area over uh, now the x-axis so the volume would be to find the volume that we are interested in would be to rotate imagine this is uh, you're rotating this whole rectangle okay so your this length is two and your height is also two so from that let me use a different color so what we're going to do is to find the volume of this rotation it is same as volume of so volume would be volume of cylinder of cylinder with radius the 
with radius 2 and height 2. With radius 2 and height 2. So you rotate this, imagine this rectangle, which, sorry, this square, imagine this square. You're rotating this whole square. Okay, so this is your length of 2. That's, that becomes your, that this is whole rotative. You're rotating over x-axis. So imagine this square is rotated over x-axis. If you rotate this volume, if you rotate this rectangle, sorry, this square over x-axis, you will get a cylinder where this becomes your, this becomes your radius, sorry. This becomes your radius. So this is your radius when you're rotating this square. And this becomes your height. I hope you can visualize it. It's very difficult to visualize. So from that volume, if you take away the volume of this rotation, if we want to find, if from this volume, which is a cylinder, CY stands for cylinder, with a radius of 2 and a height of 2, you're taking away this volume. will give you this volume. So minus, minus, the volume where this is let me use a different color so now I want you to think about suppose you take an arbitrary point and you think about a strip okay so now this is simple integration so this is your dx and this is your y and if you find the integration definite integration from half to two that will give you the volume of this solid so the volume would be pi times the lower limit is half to 2 of pi times r squared where r is your this is your radius y squared dx okay so let me show the working now so the volume so the volume here volume v is equal to pi r squared h pi times radius is 2 so it is 2 squared times 2 minus the definite integration pi is outside half to 2 of y what's y y is half sorry x minus 2 the whole square dx okay so so this is equal to so this is 4 times 2 which is 8 pi minus pi times integration of half to 2 so if you expand this it is half no it's not half 1 over x minus 2 is 1 over x squared you can expand it yourself minus this will become 4 over x plus 4 those who don't understand this expansion i would like you to do this like this so this is x over 2 minus 2 times 1 over x minus 2 so 1 over x times 1 over x is, so let's do that. So this is 1 over x squared. 1 over x times minus 2 is minus 2 over x. Minus 2 times, this is minus 2 over x. And minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. And that's how I got 1 over x squared minus 4 over x plus x. So this is 8 pi times pi let's integrate so let me before that so this is half to 2 x to the power negative 2 is x to the power sorry 1 over x squared is x to the power negative 2 minus 4 times 1 over x plus 4 dx so this is simple polynomial okay so this is 8 pi minus pi so let's integrate x over 2 gives you x to the power negative 1 over negative 1 minus 4 times natural log of integration of 1 over x is natural log of x plus 4 the limit half to 2. Okay, so this is equal to 8 pi minus pi. So let us substitute 2 and then substitute half. So if you put, so this is uh, 2 to the power, so let me write one more step before I substitute. So this is nothing but x to the power negative half 
over negative 1 is same as minus 1 over x minus 4 times natural log of x plus 4x plus 4x half to 2. Okay, so this is equal to 8 pi minus pi times. So let us substitute. So when you put 2, you get minus 1 over 2 minus 4 natural log of 2 plus 4 times 2, which is 8 minus minus 1 over half minus 1 over half minus 4 times natural log of half just substituting 2 and half plus 4 times half is 2 okay so this is equal to 8 pi minus pi times so let us simplify this so this is 8 minus half is 7.5 this is 7.5 minus 4 times natural log of 2 minus so this is minus minus 1 over half is same as minus 2 minus 1 over half dividing by half is same as multiplying by 2 minus 4 times natural log of 2 sorry natural log of half plus 2 okay so this minus 2 and plus 2 gets cancelled so this is 8 pi minus pi times this is 7.5 7.5 minus 4 times natural log of 2 plus 4 times natural log of 0 0.5 so uh, let's use now I think one more step let's do this so this is 8 pi minus pi times this is 7.5 I'll factor the 4 out so can I say plus 4 times natural log of 0 0.5 uh, I'm writing plus this first minus natural log of 2 okay so I should have written in modulus so this is 8 pi so let's do try to do as as much as possible so this is 7.5 plus 4 times uh, natural log of uh, natural log of um, I should have written a modulus here so this is modulus and this is also modulus so let's use the calculator so natural log of so let me get the calculator out so natural uh, menu run net menu run so natural log of 0.5 take away natural log of 2 that would be negative number times it by 4 okay so let me do the whole thing so that's minus 1.3 Okay, so I'm going to times that by 4, times that by 4, and I'm going to add 7.5 plus 7.5, which is 1.95 pi. Okay, so I'm directly writing the answer. So this is 8 pi minus 1.95 pi. Okay, so this, I'm going to times this by pi okay so and then I do uh, this I'm going to add a takeaway this is 1.95 pi so times it by negative 1 to get the this is negative 1.95 pi and add 8 pi 8 shift pi so this is 18.99 okay in 2 dp to be exact the volume is 18.99 unit cube okay so I hope you understand the uh, the process I didn't do this so you can do this yourself on a calculator